Welcome, this is uh, Gabriel and uh, I would like to introduce you to the Camellia system and actually this uh, particular Camellia framework has been implemented at several client uh, facilities on premise. This is one of those clients. Um, this particular implementation of the Camellia framework is called the Perl Timer. It is implemented, it uh, has been implemented at uh, one of First Digital's client in Columbus, Ohio. So this is the login screen for this particular client. So let's go ahead and sign in here. And I'd like to give you a brief tour of this system. This particular client was using five different systems uh, before uh, we implemented the Camellia system, uh, the Camellia framework on, uh, at their facility. And from five different systems, they went to one system. So basically, over here, as you can see, um, we have tickets that the client is using to track all of their billable work that they receive from the various contracts that they have. So in here, for example, um, we can see all this particular tickets or work that have been assigned to a particular individual. So we can, we can scroll here and we can look at other individuals and what they've been assigned to. So one of the interesting things about this particular system is that it does have a timer functionality built in. So for example, these tickets here, um, uh, the user has been using. And uh, if I would like to track some time or activity on this particular ticket, for example, I can click this start button here or the start button here and the timer will start tracking basically. Uh, this time ultimately gets rolled up into uh, timekeeping reports which ultimately uh, allows for the creation of invoices and allows for billing. So if I want to see all of the time entries, uh, for example this particular ticket right here that I'm selected, that I selected right now has 16 hours of work uh, that has been put into it. So if I double click on this entry, then uh, basically it will take me to the individual timekeeping activity, activities that has been assigned for that particular ticket. As you can see, this in particular individual has logged a lot of time for uh, this particular uh, ticket and uh, all of this is tracked on a per ticket basis. Um, now if I want to leave this timekeeping view, and actually I want to show you something too. See, for example, you also have this red flag here which basically allows the user to go back and, and if they do make any changes to any of this time, it's flagged so that way the supervisor manager can know that this particular entry has been changed at some point for one reason or another. So we can see all this time activity logged for this particular ticket and if we double click back on this row here it takes us back to this um, um, it takes us back to this work queue here. So now we can do that we can actually check other individuals work um, as well so we can go through here and we can see um, exactly how much um, how much time has been logged against each individual ticket here also we have is the filter bar where we can filter these tickets by today only for example and we have yesterday we have this week last week last uh, two weeks plus this week and then last or this month or uh, older than this month so we can filter these records by this time frame here 
we can also filter these particular records by this status. And for example, this is a new status, this is an assigned status, this is accepted, uh, cancelled, and closed status. So you can see here this particular status shows uh, this accepted status in particular here. So if we go through these queues, through these individual users, we can see that look, this one here has a green status or a, an assigned status um, as well. And uh, we can get a, um, a just an understanding of, of what work each individual is assigned or has in their queue or what they've been working on. Um, so once you have that also, the, you can easily track not only uh, the time activity, but you can also track any attached documents here. For example, this particular document has been uploaded to this particular ticket here. And this also tracks uh, history, different history, different events for particular documents as well too. So for example, let me see here, um, we have uh, uh, this individual here let's say, and you can see that he has quite a bit of tickets here, quite a bit of work, and if we select one, we can see that, oh, you look at that, there's quite a bit of um, attachments here. If we do click on an attachment, we can generate a preview for that particular document depending on how large it is. This one is two megabytes, so it does need to download to generate the preview. But uh, once it does download, the preview will generate here. Um, and then not only the preview, but you also have the ability to get more information, like in different comments that you may add to this document or different versions. Uh, variations of it or updates to the document will be tracked here and displayed here uh, and the users with what comments they make as well too. Um, notice that when uh, this panel opens up this navigation panel closes here there's some built-in intelligence to help make a screen uh, just to maximize the use of the screen uh, as well too. So if I maximize this you can see that this collapses here. So trying to make the most of not only the vertical screen space, but also the horizontal screen space. Um, also, we have these ribbon, ribbon bars here. Um, it's a very, very practical, useful way to uh, uh, encapsulate tasks or actions within the system. Uh, for example, you know, you can uh, go through and see other different uh, administrative type of functionality that's built in here, or even support type of functionality. If the user, for example, finds uh, a bug within the system, they can click the bug fix request button here, and it takes them to that queue where they can submit a bug fix. They can um, uh, get some uh, online help desk information or maybe the online documentation. It uh, has a lot of support functionality built right into the tool. Now the good thing about this particular tool is, is also it does have the ability to upload some of these documents and also share these documents. For example, uh, the users have the ability to create shared project folders where um, these can uh, uh, have inside and outside users where uh, they have documents that are shared. Um, easy way to do this and also from a security perspective it's secure um, and these documents like I said can basically be shared with internal users, external users and uh, relatively easily and this could be managed at this level um, as well. So everything is customizable here. You, if you want to upload documents, you just drag and drop your documents that you want to share within this region and it's uploaded. 
um, and you can see here also it goes through and uh, it does um, cr you can create these and buy let's say for example a purchase order number or a job number or um, any other kind of uh, uh, co connotation or annotation that you may want to use um, also uh, the tool does have uh, simplified uh, user accounts administrative type of functionality for example um, relatively easily able to, to manage uh, user information from one location here uh, you can b basically uh, create user accounts this way you can reset the password assign password you have some uh, control over uh, the account itself here and you can also get some possibly some timesheet information here if they've logged some timesheet uh, info into the system you can also get login information for security purposes just so you can understand hey look this user was logged in nine times they had two failed attempts but they had uh, over 2,000 hours of um, usage into the system. And you can get an idea also with IP address where they're logging from or what system they're trying to use that. Um, so the administration is there. It's very easy. Also another uh, functionality for this particular system is the reports. Um, the user does have the ability to have interactive reporting capabilities here uh, for example we can do a drill down by purchase order here you can see exactly um, who's working and what hours of time they've spent on different things uh, for a, a particular time frame this is, uh, for example here this time frame is April 1st to uh, April the 12th and you can see this is all the recorded time that has been logged for this user uh, under this particular PO with this ticket number. Um, and you can basically can get all of the information or you can narrow it down to a particular uh, purchase order, uh, even a particular user to also too. So um, you have this interactive drill down reporting uh, possible you can also download this to, uh, to a CSV file which you can open up in Excel and you can do further manipulation for that uh, in addition to that what it also generates to is billing spreadsheets when there's the billing data in here uh, basically the the data will um, get um, generated and from here a billing report uh, what and who is billed uh, is generated now this is this is uh, some confidential information I'm not going to generate this information now but but you have uh, some pretty powerful reports that are used to uh, basically create invoices and to create billing and also time reports for timesheet purposes um, it's all uh, tracked f uh, by the system here so once again you can use set the user time range these are time reports by users very very useful for tracking uh, timesheets or creating timesheets on a per individual user basis so the system also has the ability if you go back to the tickets area does have the ability to track these tickets from not only an owner perspective uh, but a purchase order itself let's say for example here now this is all customizable configurable you don't have to do it by purchase order you can do it by ticket number you can do it by any other which way um, in fact here's the tickets you can do it by the status um, as well so that way you can see only the new tickets or the tickets that have been assigned um, you can also do it by due dates as well too so whatever the need is uh, basically you would be able to do this so this is one implementation one on-premise uh, implementation for the Camellia framework 
built um, this tool with all of this functionality, great functionality that has saved this particular client approximately $5,000 a month in cost savings uh, and also consolidated five systems to one system um, has been made possible by the Camellia framework here. Thank you.